Okay, let's go to San Diego. We're gonna have an adventure. We can afford it. I really hope they're not a million dollars. I love solo dates. What a good day. Okay, let's do it. Friends, good morning, how are ya? We're about to start off this vlog at the beach in the morning. We haven't done that. Um, we normally go at sunset, but we're realizing for our work days today, it actually makes most sense if we go in the morning. And then I drive into San Diego for my dress fitting, which is so exciting. I'm just gonna get dressed, but speaking of dressed, how do you like my dress? <laughs> Shorty brought me this back from, I don't remember if I mentioned this on a vlog yet, Searcy, Arkansas which his great, 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 great uncle founded. This is the college there. And they have him out to play a lot because he's Cersei. And so he brought me back this from when he played there a week or two ago. Okay, I'm probably just gonna put on like sweatpants or really loose jeans and then chug this coffee and we're off to the beach. I brought my devotional, which I have really been loving. I feel like it's really approachably written. Um, and also, there's a new spot at the end of the pier. Down there, not the big building yet, they're renovating that, but the little building to the right of it, that is such a good like fish shack. It's different every single day. It's fresh caught things. It kind of has an Asian influence. Like there's different types of sashimi or pokey or whatever sometimes, but also like fried things. It's literally just different every day and it's so good. So I never see myself with a hat. I feel like I look so silly, but protecting ourselves from the sun. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good morning. It's a good morning. getting ready to drive into San Diego for my dress fitting, which will be so fun. And I should probably go upstairs because you can hear in there. It's a writing week for Jordy, so he's flown in some of his writer friends to write. He just signed a label deal, which is so exciting. And I actually think some of the Switchfoot guys are coming over today to write with him, which is really so sweet. I don't know what is around the dress alteration spot that we're going to, but maybe we can explore a little in San Diego. We'll see. Okay, feeling ready. Just gotta put on shoes, grab my dress, my wedding shoes, my Spanx. I got some skims for this dress, specifically that has a low cut back because my dress has a low back and skims just makes those, which is incredible. So they have like the high front and then the back cuts down really low so that you can't see them when you have a low back dress. So I'll bring those, and I think, besides the dress and the shoes, that's all. Let's go to San Diego. Okay, just parked, but guess who I swear I drove past on the highway on the way here? I swear, I really hope it was. Deacon from Criminal Minds, which I guess his real name is Jay Harrington. This guy? And I mean, they film in like LA and around LA, so it could have very well been him. We're only an hour and a half out of LA. That would be really great. Also, season seven is coming out while we are going to be on our time off, honeymoon, homey moon, that whole time after the wedding, which is like the best gift from the world to us because we'll have a whole season of SWAT that we can watch if we want to. Anyways, that made my whole day. I found a parking spot. I need to figure out where to go from here. Let's go get a fitting done. So one thing that I wanna to do to my dress is add little like off the shoulder sleeves just for a little more coverage. So step one, she's just gonna hem the bottom and see how much fabric is left over and see like what other fabric she has. And then step two, next time I'll come back and check the hem. And then we'll decide if we want to take fabric from elsewhere on the dress to add the sleeves, just kind of like see what our options are depending on how much is left over after the bottom hem, but we're done. Me and shoes are gonna go home. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to do over here while we're over here. There's not actually too much I wanna do here, but I saw that there is a cute looking coffee shop on this corner. So I figured maybe we could grab a matcha for the road, to be honest. Kind of want to get back to home because I haven't even told y'all yet. Tomorrow we gotta go to LA for my doctor's appointment. Um, so we'll be doing some LA things tomorrow. So I don't need to do whew, two big city days in a row.
Okay, sorry, lighting is not great here. Um, but you know how I showed y'all not that long ago my matcha <laughs> lattes, which is like you put chai concentrate in a matcha latte. They had a matcha chai. It was a lot prettier before I mixed it all together. I haven't tried it yet. I haven't chied it yet. So we'll give it a little taste test. We'll see how it compares to mine. They win. <laughs> theirs, is, theirs is way better than mine. That's so good. Now I have a new alterations tradition. I will be getting one of these every time I have to come back to get my dress. Let's go home where the boys are probably making noise, but something I'm so excited about. I wanna make a pot roast. I've never made a pot roast. I've been craving it. I've been craving like a beefy potato, carrot, red wine, garlic, shallot situation. I don't know why. Something in my body must need iron or something because I've like, it's been all I've been thinking about for a week. So I finally got the ingredients and I'm going to try to make one tonight, but it has to cook for at least four hours. So um, I'm excited to make that. Um, we have some, some music friends staying with us and I love making dinner for people, so that's such a highlight of my day. I, I've been waiting for this for a week. All the creative minds are officially commencing right now. The Switchfoot guys are here. Philippa was here. Doherty's here. They all about to start, and I am going to start cooking. You ready for some pot roast tonight, Philip? What, did you, did you, did you spill? Oh, no. Beer on a guitar. I'm going to soak some potatoes and some carrots, get to chopping. I don't like the way these potatoes feel. Why do they feel soft? This one feels okay. They're just a little squishy. Pot roast is in the oven for at least three hours. Got my kombucha in a wine glass. And I wanted to tell y'all, I finally have somewhat of a vision for the primary room because I finally figured out some art that I'm really excited about. I'll show you in here. So y'all know I've been struggling to find art that I like for this wall up here. This was actually Jordy's idea. I can't take the credit. It was, it was a collaboration of an idea. We were trying to think through, I was like, what's something that could be like textural and not like another frame that we could do above there. And he was like, what if we bought an old sail? And I was like, like from a sailboat? He's like, yeah, you can find them on eBay. And normally they go for hundreds of dollars because there's so much fabric, but I found one for $79. It's this old sail. Look at that. And have somebody like commission somebody to paint on it. It is 24 feet long, so we're probably gonna cut just like a triangle out of it. Um, and I don't know if it would look cooler to have just a raw edge hem or to like actually hem it. But then there's this girl who's mutual friends with a lot of our friends. I haven't met her before, but I DM'd her. She does really cool line art. Um, and she does a lot of different styles, but there's this one style of hers that I really like. Like this is one, and this is another one, these prints like in this kind of green color. And I asked her if I could, I told her kind of our idea and I asked her if I could commission her to make something for up here. And then I found this really cool one of a kind piece of art on Etsy. I gotta make sure my purchase went through because I have the PayPal confirmation that I bought this, but it's not in my order history. So I gotta check on that. But this is an old like swimmers piece of cloth. I don't know, it might be a little too bold for in here. And if so, it'll go upstairs, but I thought it could be fun on this wall to do that. We'll see how we feel once it's in here. And then in this corner, this is where I wanna put a big tree and like some sort of like stone pot to come up here. 
which I think will be cool. And eventually one day, I just wanna get rid of this because I bought this during my last marriage and I just wanna not have any of those vibes. I wanna sell this and use the money to buy something else eventually, it's just a bit of a commitment. And then this mirror, I feel like is just a little too girly for uh, the, the beachy vibes that Jordy has explained that he likes. So I'm probably gonna end up selling this mirror and I wanna get like a bone inlay mirror. I'll show you some that I found. So that's the vision. So far we have that piece of art coming and then the sale and the works. I've ordered the sale and then I'll keep my eye out for a tree and one day maybe a Facebook marketplace vintage dresser to replace this one. And when I probably get back from after the holidays, I'll sell the mirror and use that to buy a new one. But at least I have somewhat of a vision happening because for the longest time I had zero vision for this room at all. So the sale really helped me kind of like feel pulling it together. So thank you, Jordy, for that idea. <laughs> this is the final product. Jordy, I don't know if it's gonna be as exciting as I built it up in my mind. It looks amazing. Because it's really so simple. Thanks for working so hard. I don't do think that. it's the umami I'm craving. Umami. umami. I think it's like a, eh, daddy. <laughs> Sorry, none for you. But good job on losing four pounds. I'm proud of you. Good morning. It's LA day. Sorry, we had people over last night and I feel like I didn't get to give you the best update on the pot roast, if you care. It was okay. I feel like the flavor was just kind of boring and I was craving something just so umami and savory. We ended up topping it. <laughs> this is probably a sin. We ended up topping it with soy sauce and like chili crisp oil, which has like so many savory. It has like fermented black bean and it has seaweed and it has garlic and it has like all these things. And then I liked it way more cause it was way less boring. But today I think I've mentioned, I'll just quickly recap in case you are new here. So basically when I was living in LA, I got diagnosed with lupus by this team at um, Keck USC, which is all the way in LA. They have this program, which is a room derm program. So I see a rheumatologist and a dermatologist at the same time. It's for like special cases because nobody could figure out what was going on with me because my blood work was negative for ANA, which normally indicates things like lupus, but I had so many weird symptoms. My fingernails were falling off, like all these weird things. And so they ended up finally doing some biopsies and diagnosing me there through biopsies as having a form of lupus. When I moved to Texas, I don't know, I never got the, like I, I tried for a year to get my biopsies transferred over to my new doctors. It just never happened. It was this game of phone tag. And then my new doctors were like, well, we don't see, like all we can do is blood work and your blood work doesn't really say much. And so it's been this whole thing. And I felt like I haven't been taken very seriously by the doctors in Texas. Something's going on outside. The fiber internet people didn't complete work by December 1st, which the sign said they would. Oh, well, it's okay. So, so sorry about that background noise. But all I have to say is I was very excited that if I moved back to this area, I would be able to drive into LA to go back to those same doctors. And now that I have a diagnosis and whatever, I think I really only go twice a year, so it's not a huge deal. Um, and so I set up this appointment months ago, and this was the first available appointment slot was mid-December. So I am going to be driving in for my doctor's appointment, and you'll be impressed with this multitasking. En route, I'm gonna have therapy session on the phone instead of video like it normally is, um, just because it was like the only time that we could make work. And then there's a spot I've always wanted to go in LA. It's called Burberry Imports. They have all sorts of old things like vessels and benches and old doors and whatever. But there's a pop up there right now. I think it's literally called Plant Daddy, which is such a great name. And I want to see if I can find a big tree for the bedroom. Um, Cause that is like the, I think I told you yesterday, like the vision, that's the vision. That's the one thing that I feel like will make it feel like, ah, okay. Kind of like sculptural art, but living. I don't even know. I think it's not even anywhere near my doctor's appointment, but once you're in LA, you can, you can drive a million miles and it makes no difference. Cause if you're going down the street, it still takes an hour. <laughs> We're going to have an adventure. We'll get forward to it. Hi from the backseat of my car because of lighting. Um, we've just parked downtown LA at Keck USC hospital. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but I kind of didn't realize that coming here would bring up like icky feelings, like a little bit, a little bit triggering in a sense, because I very much associate being here and my diagnosis with like the roughest 
year of my life. And I have realized in hindsight that a lot of my flares for lupus happen when I am very emotionally stressed. And so I fully, fully believe that my relationship and like where I was in my marriage was the reason that my lupus presented and got so bad. And I haven't been here since I was married. And it's also, it's gonna be a mind trip for her because I don't know if we'll talk about anything personal, but like I'm months away from being married again and the last time she saw me, I was married to someone else, which is just really funny and weird. But um, what a weird thing. What a weird thing. I'm realizing I'm in LA and I kind of wonder if I'll pick up sugar fish for lunch as a treat after my doctor's appointment. Jordy was like, are you going to get yourself a treat after your doctor's appointment? And I was like, maybe a tree, a tree, a tree. Cause I want a tree. <laughs> Leaving the doctor. It went well. I'm choosing to take the stairs all the way up to the roof and I'm out of breath. They basically want me to come back to get more lab work done about Schrogen's, which is what the optometrist told me it looks like I have, um, but otherwise things look, things look good and it's, Nice to be set back up with the doctor that diagnosed me because she has all my lab work, all my biopsies, all the important stuff, which is really validating. I just parked. I'm gonna go through the front door properly, but there's so many trees out the back. I really hope they're not a million dollars because I just had to pay self pay out of pocket for my doctor's appointment because they wouldn't take my Texas insurance. Look at all these vessels. Let's go inside, let's go see. Look at those vessels. It's as big as the car. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All of this is so cool. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You know your girl loves coral. Is there a price on that? I already have a coral. I don't need another one. Oh my gosh. What in the heaven? Oh, <laughs> this is a whole shelf of trays. These would be so good for the wedding, but I simply don't want to spend that much money. But even cutting boards and old scoops. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I was told to check upstairs because it's all accessories. And guys, this does not end. This is so massive. There's like 5,000 pots and vessels and a wall of stools. I should have come here with a plan. Like, I love, I do want a couple more sculptural things for our home and like, I love this, but it's $120 and I just know if I was patient, I could thrift something like that for 10, you know? There's bone inlay mirrors, just like I showed y'all. So beautiful, but I think pricier than online. But look at that. That would be the vibe for the bedroom. Okay, this tree isn't the most massive, but I think it comes with that pot and is $200. I'd be so afraid of killing it, but I feel like that is, at least some of the things here are $5,000. So I feel like this one is the first kind of in budget contender. So good news. I was able to get just the tree, not the pot, even though that vessel is beautiful for cheaper because man, everything here is beautiful, but that, who? Who can afford that? It's crazy. So I got just the tree. And then my thought is, I found some concrete vessels on Amazon that are pretty cheap. And I could literally take like spackle or something to it and add like rough texture if I wanted. I could basically recreate. These are actually like hundreds of years old, but I can recreate the look for a lot less. So I got the tree and I'm gonna go home and measure uh, what size vessel I need to order. And maybe we could do that as a DIY project soon, but guess what I just did? I just placed a pickup for sugar fish. We're gonna go pick it up and it's on the marina. Maybe I'll even have a little picnic. That exploded. Great. Have a little picnic by the boats. A little solo date. I love solo dates. What a good day. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I figured out my LA hack for when I have to come here. And it really is Marina Del Rey because I never came to Marina Del Rey when I lived here. So there's no weird vibes, no bad memories. There's always free parking. There's a sugar fish, everything you need. And then there's always picnic tables by the boats. So you can have this beautiful view of the marina and all these boats and yachts and sit over here at a picnic table for free with free parking. Easy. My go-to is always a salmon, a yellowtail, and a fatty tuna. 
and I'm so excited about this right now. I just can't even put it into words. I mean, this is the best solo date I've taken in months, probably since a solo trip. Just starting the vlog. Is it Jordan or Philip? Uh, I was just gonna take our tree to our room. Oh wow! I know. Our Christmas tree. Hi, let me give you a hug. Anyways, I was gonna say I just got back. We just got back home, and this is where I picture putting it. And then we could see if it, you know, I might need to get a stand for it eventually. Probably instead of this chair today. Maybe in this corner, no chair. Where'd you go? What do you think? What do you think of the tree? They really wrap this up. What do you think of them? Oh, I'm getting dirt everywhere. I'm getting dirt. This will be too tall. I don't want one this tall. But just to see for now. I don't know, kind of nice, kind of cool. Not that tall, <laughs> but I do like this tree a lot. Something else, this is so exciting. I did not think this would get here already. Okay, so I remember I told y'all that we found these shirts from Quince that were this like linen short sleeve shirt that we were gonna do for the groomsmen. They sold out of all the sizes that we needed. So we pivoted and we went ahead and ordered these for everybody so that everybody for sure has the matching one. And we got these which are, they're gonna need to be steamed, but they're real linen blazers. Aren't they so nice? And blue, no, kind of like gray heathered pants. And then the solo shoes, the, like the sandals. And it's so funny, cause there's this person that kept DMing me every time Jordy wore those sandals saying, you need to stop Jordy from creating that fashion felony. They're gonna be shook when we decided to have all the groomsmen wear those exact same sandals for the wedding. We love that fashion felony. I feel like those sandals are so sick, but that's the vibe. Anyways, guys, thanks for spending a couple days with me. We, wow, went all over the place from downtown San Diego to LA. <laughs> Not a lot of time at home, but honestly, probably for the best because I'm sure it's been very loud here. So it's probably great that we um, were able to get out of the, the creative music world. Um, and it'll be a fun season of watching this album get finished also. So it's kind of fun, but thanks for spending a couple days with me. Let's think I have one more normal vlog and then a pack for Paris vlog and then we're gone. That's coming up so soon. <sighs> Packing, I'm intimidated, but the actual trip, I'm so excited. I love y'all. Thanks for spending the last couple days with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. So let's take all night, all night, all night, all night, all night. If we're looking for each other.